What is going on guys and welcome back to another John Boat to Bass Boat conversion video. So check this out. There is a little sneak peek of what I got done today. Freaking awesome. Guys, this is a super long video and I'm sorry about that. I just wanted to get this done, but there's your warning. Guys, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Here it is. Check out that catfish. We just got a battery in the mail. Let's open her up, check her out. Ah, box inside the box. Lovely. Screw. Yeah, buddy. Freaking beautiful, dude. Screws. All right, there she is. All right, so this battery is for my black box. For the pan optics so this is going to run my live scope pretty much i saw a video on youtube where a guy had two 10 amp hour batteries that were connected and he said he can get like nine hours off those two little batteries connected so i figured a 23 off would be perfect i could probably get maybe 10 hours or so of life for my pan optics which is awesome so uh this battery is gonna go oh in this area right here I'm not sure yet, but somewhere in this area. I want to plug this bad boy in first. Yeah. So we need to go to lithium. All right, she's fully charged, ready to go. But I'm not worried about that right now. I need to finish working on the front. So yesterday we got the hydro wave and the first fish finder wires attached and ready to go. Now we just need to finish the second fish finder the headlights and the nav light. Real quick, by the way, this battery only weighs 6.4 pounds, so super light battery. We have quite a bit of wire. We're gonna shorten this here. I'm also expecting a new camera lens in the mail today as well, so pretty exciting day for the mail. All right, the second fish finder is now connected. We can tuck away these wires. So many wires. Okay, so now we got all the fish finder wires here, ready to go. Now we need to do, let's see. We need to do the headlights and the nav light. I can't even attach this yet. I got to attach this once we get the deck on run the wires up the hole and then attach it and then I can pop it down. I think the headlights are the same way. I mean, for sure they are. So here's the headlights. Boom. Stacking up wire for the next build. Just kidding. <laughs> if I do do another boat, it's going to be a freaking houseboat and I'm going to freaking live in it. I was watching houseboat videos this morning and I was like, holy crap, those are sick. Imagine just living on a boat. That would be the dream. Kinda. Not where I'm at though. My lake ain't really live on potential. There's a lot better lakes for that than my local lake. So the headlights are gonna have to run a wire over here. And then we're gonna have to splice into that one for this one. All right, so I had to run to the store again. I got a whole bunch of stainless steel hardware for the front, but I got my camera lens, baby. Finally got a wide angle lens, a 10 to 18 stabilizer, sweet, sweet. Here is my camera box I put together. I got this Bass Pro Shop a box here a while back, never used it. And once again, once I busted out the big camera, I was like, yep. Throwing it in a case, keep it waterproof, all that good stuff. We will have to make a slot right here for this one. Let's go ahead and do it, shall we? Ah, beautiful. Freaking beautiful, man. Okay. Now that we got the spot for it, I mean, it's supposed to fit the camera, but we'll see. By the way, my big camera is a Canon 80D. This was like my dream camera back in the day when I started YouTube. 
Got one, used it for the longest time, and then put her up, I guess. Batteries died, stopped using it. But we're back, baby. We're back. All right. Ultra wide lens. Let's uh, turn her on, see how she looks. Getting close up shots of stuff is cool, but the main reason I got this camera is to vlog with it. So let's test it out. Uh, yeah, that is awesome. So usually I'm used to like sticking my arm way the heck out here because the lens isn't close enough. But uh, now I don't have to, now I can be super close. You guys probably don't want me to be super close, but uh, now I can be. So cool, I love it, this is awesome. I've been needing this on this camera forever now and we finally got it. But guys, here is the John boat. Enough talk with the cameras, we need to get to working on the boat. So here is the front, we got the top back on but I need to attach everything to this before we can officially get it on. So, like I said, we got a ton of stainless steel hardware. We got about 15 sets of different screws here. So that is for screwing down all the fish finder mounts, the hydro wave, and the nav light. So we're ditching the old screws we had and we're going with all brand new stuff. We got lock nuts for everything, so nothing's gonna vibrate off. And then we just got some of these screws here. That is to screw down this piece. I would rivet this on, but I want to be able to take this off super easy. So I'm using screws. So if I ever need to take this off, fix a wire, or add something else up here, I can just unscrew the screws and it's that simple. No drilling out rivets or anything like that. So, but we got the hardware, so let's get to work. Guys, real quick, I wanna show y'all. This is uh, another idea I had today. I really like how low this sits. The other way is to have this up here and this one like way up here. And it's just, it's very high up. I mean, I do want the live scope to be high up because that's the one you're like constantly looking at sometimes. But I was thinking this is not a bad way to do it either. Have this one down below. Of course, I wouldn't have it down here. But what I would have to do is drill slots into this top deck right here and then slip the bracket through those slots. So the bracket itself will be attached to the deck underneath this deck, and then the slots will just stick up. And then we'll have the same setup, just moved back a little bit and up in this area. I do like that a lot. That's pretty clean, and I think that'd be a pretty cool bracket kind of hidden inside the deck. The main thing was I just didn't like this one super high up. It just kind of looks weird on this little 14 foot John boat. Sick. Just sharing ideas I have with y'all. So this versus it drop down into the deck. I definitely like this look way more. It's just more subtle, you know, it doesn't stand out so much. Do you like this or, or that? So I like the other one. You do? I do too. Yeah. This just seems too high. Yeah. Do the first one? Yeah. Okay, I agree. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, so I got a second opinion from my sister, and she agrees it looks a lot better lowered down. That was my original plan, but I feel like that's too high for this little boat. I do too. I like it. Where so you like it flush? like that? What are those? Fish finders? These, yeah, these are fish finders. I want them just like that. I like it like that way better. Okay, sweet. I do too. That's three yeah. opinions. All right, you heard him. Third opinion said drop it down a little bit. So that's what we're doing. Let's start cutting some holes and drilling some slots and yeah. I said that backwards on purpose, by the way. The thing is, is I don't want this screen sticking over the lip. So I'm just gonna eyeball it, get it perfect and square. All right, let's move this. Oh, she moved on me. Two and five eighths. Two and five eighths. Boy, are my eyeballs good. We are hitting a support piece though, so we'll have to cut that. Oh. 
Oh yeah, we're sitting pretty. I'm gonna file this down more, make it prettier, but I just wanted to solve that problem first. Busting out the Dremel. Busting out the grinder. All right, finally got the notches cut out. It took a grinder, but let's see if this will fit. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Look at that, dude. That is so freaking sick. It's built in, baby. Built in fish finder. <laughs> That's pretty sweet. I'm happy I thought of that, dude. That's genius. I don't care what you say. That is genius. All right, so there are the three wire ports there. All right, so we got the fish finder exactly where we want it. So now I have to take off the fish finder take off this metal sheet all while keeping this bracket right here in the same spot so i've got to be super careful that's all good just hold the, this the end down right here hold down super hard okay um <laughs> sarah come on <laughs> we gotta restart now <laughs> <laughs> okay let's find that sharpie because then i can mark it such a baby i've been out here all day oh i can't handle this i am a 90 degree person. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold this. Okay. Don't let it move. Hard. You did it. What am I supposed to do on this side? <laughs> <laughs> okay, same thing. Hold it tight or we have to restart. <laughs> and you have to freeze. <laughs> you got it? Yeah. You got it, that's their question. Hold on, don't move yet. I'm not. Okay, I got it. Don't scratch the paint over there. Beautiful. Hold that down, sir, hard. <laughs> hard, don't let it move again. Well, if you're drawing, this will be better. The sharpie don't work. So, you gotta hold it tight, sir, you can't let it move. Here's the thing, I was holding it tight before. No, <laughs> I barely even touched it. Don't even lie to me. Okay, I'm gonna get, try to get the screw in. Don't worry about me, just stay there. I'm a professional. Ah, uh, well boys, I just actually drilled through my hand. So I'll let you know that that blows air and it's really cool. <laughs> <laughs> so blowing your face, freezing cold air. <sighs> We're still on our line. So. It moved a little. Dang. Right here. Did it? Let's see how it sits. Well, if it works good or close enough, you can go inside. If not, or did it ever again? <laughs> yeah. Already, it's a no. Oh. It should be good. I know we gotta put that thing on. I know, but I can, I can just tell where it was sitting right. So I've done it four times. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, perfect. Sweet. Thank you. You can go inside. Okay. Thank you. Burr, bro. Get a on her. <laughs> hey, well, yeah, you can close the garage doors. <laughs> Wasn't even thinking. All right. I'm not kidding. That took like four times. Every time I try to take it all off, it would move. But uh, I finally got it with my sister's help. Beautiful. All right. Four self-tapping screws. That's not going anywhere. Okay. Oh, freaking awesome. All right. That probably took entirely way too long, but we got the first set of holes and slots on and just to give y'all an example i'll go ahead and shove these wires through that hole we can go ahead and attach these wires see how they actually fit you can't top that dude that is absolutely sick unless you don't forget to cut the holes too big but again that will be covered by the foam you won't see that hole freaking beautiful dude I'm so stoked I came up with that. Then the next one, we've got to do the same thing, except it can be on top. So 
so it'll be a whole lot easier. Yeah, freaking buddy. <laughs> Guys, I freaking love it, dude. I hope y'all enjoy this as much as I do. Y'all probably don't. I don't know. But I just think that is so freaking awesome. Especially since I thought of it. I've never seen this before on any boat. I mean, I've seen dual mounts, whatever. But basically all I did was just lower it. It's nothing too special. But to slot it out, put this one lower inside on top of this box. And then have this one on the box to make the perfect level setup is freaking awesome. Hopefully we have enough room back here for the headlight. We should. Faux show. This could probably even go underneath a little. Yeah, dude, easy. All right, so we got this one all attached. The wires ran. We can go ahead and do the same for this one. And this one's gonna be 10 times easier and faster. Promise you that. Getting it out for the foam is going to be just as fun. So what we need to go into this hole is this wire and this wire. Luckily this wire with a big old head can come apart. These guys know what they're doing. Oh yeah. We got her. So those wires are good. So there are the fish finders completely done. Now we need to drill holes for the headlights. So we'll have to drill a hole. One right here for this bolt and then one right behind it for the wire to run down. Looks like they can almost be the same size hole. So two and three quarter is a drill hole. So I want to match that two and three quarter. So that should look pretty symmetrical from this side of the boat to this side of the boat. All right, let's get this other light mounted real fast. I like that. Looks sick. There are the holes for the lights. All right, it is the next day. It is time to finish the front on the John boat. So let's get to work. I'm not gonna talk much during this part. We just got to install the nav light and the hydro wave. Take it all off, take all these grommets off, add some foam, and then add everything back on and screw this front piece down and it is done. So. We already got quite a long video, so I'm just going to get to work real quick and get it done, knock it out, and we can <laughs> officially be done with this part.
All right, so we got that hole drilled and the grommet in. Let's make sure the wire fits through the grommet. Freaking beautiful, okay. All right, that is it. That is everything that we needed to attach onto this board here. We can go ahead and take all this off, take the grommets out, and add some foam to this piece right here. So I'm adding these cut off pieces from this piece and the piece right here, just to this area here. Just because the entire deck was all solid, I could stand on it, except for right here. It flexed a little bit, so I figured this is the perfect spot to attach these. Just to add that little bit of support it needs. Alright, so I need to mark where this under support is. Which is there. This piece looks freaking awesome, dude. All right, so there it is. We got all the holes drilled. All of the holes holding it down work. It is tight, it is not ever gonna come off. Sweet, so now we can take it all off and put some foam on this sheet. And then put it all back together once and for all and it will be done. How crazy is that? We need the acetone, a rag, a sharp razor blade, and then we need the foam. off my fingers Dude, this freaking boat or this foam or whatever it is, is shocking the crap out of me right now. I shocked it, touched it the first time, it shocked the crap out of me, and then it just shocked my finger and my stomach from touching the boat like that. Crazy. Dude, imagine you're just on a boat fishing and just getting shocked the entire time. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and cut. Just got shocked again, Jesus. Ah, again, how is it shocking me twice? Jeez, man, this phone is crazy. I'm scared. Jesus. Again, it just shocked me. What is going on? It's not the boat, it's the foam. This foam, something about this foam shocks you a million times. I just took off all the electrical tools. There's no batteries in the boat. Nothing hanging. I mean, that is crazy. It has to be the foam that's shocking me. So much for one solid pass. Boom. Now we can go ahead and get rid of all these big circles and all the drill holes. All right, so here is the piece in place. I'm happy with it. This edge right here is a little ugly, but nothing I can do about it now.
So we got both of the headlights and the nav light installed and those are the three last things that need to be wired. So as you can see, we got wires running loose here. That is because these were the three things that I needed to run the wire through first before we could wire it. All right, so we just got those wired up. I'm gonna go ahead and test them out before we move on. So I just got the wires connected to the battery. Flip the switch. We got power. So we need the nav light, running lights. Boom, those are on. I can see it in the reflection on the window. To the headlights. Boom, yeah buddy, we got power. Good freaking deal. All right, so all that works. So now we can continue pushing all the other wires through the holes. All right, that is it. That is the last wire we needed. Now we just got to manage all this wire, shove it down inside this hole, what we can anyways. Okay, that's pretty much it. We just gotta shut this and make sure no wires get smashed in the process. All right, now we're good. No, no we're not. I didn't ever put on the hydro wave base. Dang it. <laughs> what are you doing to me, man? Ah, now I have to put that freaking crap on. I never put that freaking base on either. What am I doing? God. I jumped the gun. I thought I was so ready for this. I'm not. Gonna add two more bases and then we're done. It's looking good though, man. The more stuff I add up here, the better it looks. All right, now we are set. We got the hydro wave attached. We got the fish finder bracket attached. Now we can finally shut this for good and make sure we're not smashing any wires and we are good to go. All right, there it is. Now we just need to attach these 10 screws and she is officially done. Yes, I can smell the finish line from here. Just gotta screw this in with a screwdriver and we are done. Yeah, and there she is, all attached. But now, now we need the fish finders. Got the wires all ran. Now we can put her in place. Tuck these wires in. We can go ahead and take all the plastic off too. And the pan optics. And she is officially done. Yeah, freaking buddy. I love it. Freaking love it. Let's take the plastic off of here. And it is official. Oh. Yes. Okay. Got the fish finders, got the headlights, the front nav light, and the hydro wave. I mentioned putting a cup holder right here, but I didn't do that. Honestly, because I forgot. But I'm not worried about it. This looks so freaking awesome, dude. So I just got the LED strip going across the bottom lip there. You can see in that corner there, but 
can't see it anywhere else so i'm happy with it but there's how it looks pretty freaking awesome dude i am happy with it so i need to go ahead and get the battery back in for all the electronics and then this battery in and hook it up to the black box for the panoptics all right so we got everything plugged back in We've got the deck lights boom working all the way around we got cabin lights that's all working boom next we got cockpit light which is the ar but it's taped up but i can see glowing we got spotlights which is the headlights that works anchor light which is the back that works and we got the running light which you can see through the reflection that's turning on and off and then the bilge pump so everything is working then we come up here hydro wave turns on fish finder turns on fish finder turns on freaking beautiful dude love it absolutely love it oh boy it's done the front is done at least dude i've been thinking of a trip to lake fork Ooh, with that touch screen though oh let's turn this off yeah like i've been really thinking of going to lake fork on this bad boy it's a long trip like seven hours but spend a few weeks up there that'd be freaking sick uh, let's play some sounds. I hear it sharpen down there. That sounds crazy, dude. That's pretty freaking cool. Alright, everything's working. Goodbye. Goodbye. Sweet. It's all working. And the front is finally attached. And dude, it looks freaking awesome. I'm so stoked with how it came out, dude. I'm happy this is done. This took almost two days. To get this done this light up here wants to push out i got some 5200 on there so after tonight it'll be locked in place let's check out the lights up front running light and spotlight so let's here are the headlights freaking bright dude heck yes and then there's a running light as well Looks freaking awesome. And we got the hydro wave. And then the two fish finders. Oh, don't need the bill, John. All right guys, so there it is, all done. Once again guys, I'm sorry for the super long video. I just wanted to get it done. But guys, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.